Some of the state's leaders were in the legislative session. Officer holders from treasurer to lieutenant governor took their oaths of office at the Capitol. 12 News' Gerald Harris joins us now. They're live with more. Gerald? Elected officials are now seated as leaders here in the state, but they took their celebration to the House floor as they took their oath of office. The office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mike. For the first time in Mississippi's history, every statewide office holder will be Republican. Uh, we're proud of every single one of them uh, for what they've done, but we also recognize that the election is behind us, and now it's time to govern. Leading the Senate will be Lieutenant Governor Delbert Holzman. In front of the joint chamber, he outlined his priorities. We have many challenges. Uh, we have many challenges, and those include how do we ensure uh, a child has access to quality education? How do we make health care more affordable and accessible for our, for our, for our, for our citizens? How do we help small businesses thrive and grow in Mississippi? How we can make our economy grow, how we can help our economy grow, and how to shore up roads and bridges. He also says the corrections issue will be another point of emphasis. Also making history, Lynn Fitch is the first woman elected attorney general in the state. Voters also put a familiar face back in the insurance commissioner's office. I, I never quit working. It's a, it's a job I truly love, and I, I think I make a difference in everybody's life every day in the state of Mississippi, a state that I truly love. Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves will be sworn in as governor Tuesday. And despite the inaugurations of those statewide elected officials, the House did do some business today. They approved the deficit reduction bill for the teacher pay at an amount of $18.4 million. That will go over to the Senate for their approval, and then it will eventually end up on Governor Reeves' desk when he's sworn in Tuesday. 